Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This video will demonstrate how you can now determine whether the drilling tool path crosses intersecting holes at the specified crossover feed rate or at the stepover feed rate. Sequential and deep drilling operations identify intersecting holes and apply cutting and non-cutting feed rates to each drill cycle. If the intersection is greater than or equal to the specified crossover distance, NX crosses the intersection with three motions using last cut, crossover, and first cut feed rates. If the intersection is less than the specified crossover distance, NX crosses the intersection at the stepover feed rate with a single motion. Full intersections occur when the shoulder of the tool loses contact with the crossing hole. Partial intersections occur when the shoulder of the tool is always in contact with the crossing hole. In this example, the cross holes fully intersect and partially intersect the deep hole. We'll begin by creating a deep hole drilling operation that uses the default crossover distance. Click Create Operation. Select Hole Making from the type list. Select Deep Hole Drilling. Specify the following. Click OK. Click Specify Feature Geometry. Select the Deep Hole Feature. Click OK to accept the feature geometry. Click Edit Cycle. In the Cut Conditions section of the dialog box, be sure the Dwell Before Cut checkbox has been cleared. When turned on, this option causes the tool to stop at each intersection to apply Dwell. In this case, it's preferable to turn this option off. Click OK in the Cycle Parameters dialog box. Click Cutting Parameters. The Intersections area of the dialog box is new. Crossover distance determines whether NX crosses intersecting holes at the crossover feed rate or at the stepover feed rate. The default for crossover distance is 300% of the tool diameter. This means if the intersection is less than three times the tool diameter, NX crosses the intersection using the stepover feed rate. It does this regardless of the angle or diameter of the crossing hole or intersection. If the intersection is greater than or equal to three times the tool diameter, NX crosses the intersection using the last cut, crossover, and first cut feed rates. Click Cancel in the Cutting Parameters dialog box. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Step to move the tool through the path and notice how the feed rate changes. The cut feed rate is applied to drilling cycles. The step over feed rate is applied when the tool crosses the intersecting holes. The system uses the step over feed rate for every intersection because every intersection is less than the specified crossover distance of 300% tool diameter. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. Now we'll edit the crossover distance to see how the system applies the crossover feed rate. Click Cutting Parameters. Type 150% tool in the crossover distance box. Click OK in the Cutting Parameters dialog box. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Step to move the tool through the path and notice how the feed rate changes. The last cut, crossover, and first cut feed rates are applied when the tool crosses the intersections that are greater than or equal to the specified crossover distance. The step over feed rate is applied when the tool crosses the intersection holes that are less than the specified crossover distance. It's important to note 
that deep hole drilling does not currently differentiate between full and partial intersections. As a result, the crossover feed rate in this example is applied to the partially intersecting diagonal hole because the intersection exceeds the specified crossover distance of 150% tool diameter. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. We'll now edit the crossover distance so that the crossover feed rate, which is rapid, applies only to the fully intersecting hole. Click Cutting Parameters. Type 225% tool in the crossover distance box. Click OK in the Cutting Parameters dialog box. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Step to move the tool through the path and notice how the crossover feed rate now applies only to the full intersection. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. Click OK to finish the operation. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now determine whether the path crosses intersecting holes at the specified crossover feed rate or at the stepover feed rate. Thank you.